So <clears throat> this is my first ever live video on Facebook. Hi everybody. So I trust that I'll be able to say some things that actually mean something. Uh, for those of you who have been paying attention to what's happening here at the Healing Arts Sanctuary, we have had about two months of uh, demolition and rebuild. And there's a lot that goes into that. Hi, Cody. Um, there's a long story behind all of it, but I just really wanted to share some of the magic that happened um, as a result of the, the faith and trust that I've chosen to have in my process over the last five years. Um, when I found out that I needed to rebuild the entire deck on this whole sanctuary here, um, it took a lot of trust and faith that making that decision would pay off because it's a huge investment in my healing practice. It's a huge investment in my home and um, my future. So, you know, we get these messages from spirit. If you build it, they will come. Just like in Field of Dreams. So, uh, we've been working on the rebuild for probably about two months now. We're about a month behind schedule, but it's right on time. You know, the way that spirit works. And I knew that at this point right now in my life, it's time for me to be really steadfast and, and step fully into my into my practice and purpose and what I came here to do. Can everybody hear me okay? Just let me know if you can't. First ever live video. Hi, Linka. <laughs> and hi, Nathaniel. Thanks for joining. This is, we're all having fun on a Sunday night. So <clears throat> I asked <laughs> Spirit when the deck was complete that I would be shown that it's time for me to really fully um, be the gathering place for events where people could come and, and have transformational experiences that were absolutely life-changing and thrilling and, and the things that help us remember who we really are and what we came here for. <laughs> we're scrolling. Um, and I'm getting sidetracked because I'm, I'm really happy that people are actually watching my first ever video. Hi, guys. <laughs> so um, the, the deck was almost finished. And earlier this week, I get a message from my friend Maribel. Hi, Maribel, and thank you, who says, I have a really amazing, incredible experience for you. And I'm like, cool. She says, call me. So I called her. And she said, I have the, uh, the opportunity for you to host a world-renowned uh, Siberian shamanic priestess uh, for a women's gathering at the, at the sanctuary. I'm like, how does this even happen? <laughs> so if you build it, they will come, apparently. So it's still being built, and I'm thinking, okay, all right, guys, we got to finish the thing. So I reached out to these beautiful men who are helping me rebuild my, my goddess here. And uh, I said, look, guys, I got, a, I got a really important deal going on here. I have a beautiful shamanic priestess coming on the weekend. She's world-renowned. We're going to have a really huge event. It's a really big deal. And they're like, we're on it. So they showed up yesterday and finished the rest of the deck. And they, they put the railing up so it was safe for everybody. They put all the boards down. They built the step. They did everything they needed to do. They had an extra guy come in. And he shoveled the whole deck. It was all covered in snow. I didn't ask them to do that, and they didn't need to do that. They shoveled the entire deck. I'm just standing there going, how is this even happening? Finished it at, like, sundown. And today we have these beautiful women that arrive at the house to have this gathering for these I think we had 24 women that actually showed up. Um, and we, I'm standing here in my space going, I don't even know how this is going to work with all these women here. And then we've got Shakuntali, and she has her four helpers that come with her. 
or angels, I think she calls them. And it's cold outside, but it doesn't matter because we're doing a thing. So we end up going outside on this brand new deck, literally the day that it is complete. <laughs> And we have this whole morning of these beautiful, deeply transformational, deeply tapped in, connected to self, chakra awakenings and magic. And this huge group of women on my deck the first day that my sanctuary is complete. And the energy that we embodied and expressed and felt and the joy and the, just the yeses that we all felt and said yes to. <laughs> um, it was like we christened the deck today, oh, Samantha. <laughs> um, and I guess there was a part of me a week ago, I sat here in my house and I'm like, okay, we're almost ready. The, the, the sanctuary is almost complete. I'm ready to walk steadfastly into my practice here and I'm ready, I'm ready to work, I'm ready to play. And uh, okay, so bring me the people that I'm here to help or that I'm here to provide space for. And literally it just, and, and I asked for clarity. Okay guys, like spirit, God, whatever, help me understand what it is that I'm doing and what my path is and what's next. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I can get creative and I have all kinds of ideas, but you know, bring me the magic, you know, show me that what I'm doing matters. And I think we all want to know that. And, uh, and then this just out of the blue, she wasn't even shock and Tolly and her people were not even supposed to be here. They were supposed to be in North Dakota and spirits like, yo, Hey, so you're going to do something different. You're actually going to stay in Colorado because there's a woman here that you're going to actually be working with. <laughs> Apparently a magical or something. I don't know. So they listened to spirit and Maribel was the, the beautiful um, connection that, that allowed that to all play out. So that's what we did here today. And, and it showed me that, yes, saying yes is what brings in the magic and the answers. And um, I, I want all of you to know that when you open that dialogue with, if you want to call it your, your all-knowing self or God or spirit or creator, or universe, it doesn't matter. It that doesn't care what you call it. When you open that dialogue and you ask the questions and you ask for help and you ask for what it is that your heart and soul uh, really desires and, and you come from that place of passion deep within for what your purpose is, you know we all have a very potent and purposeful <laughs> mission um, whatever that looks like. And even if that is just being in the world in your heart, ask and you shall receive that gift of being shown that you matter. And what you're here doing, even if it's just smiling at people, <laughs> um, it's important. You're important. And we've forgotten that, that we're not separate from that which we eternally are. And I just want all of you to know that I know that it's not easy being here. I know that sometimes it's really difficult to have faith and trust and surrender, especially when we have things that are kind of slapping us around. And I've been through a lot and I've I've done a lot and I've worked really, really hard to get to where I'm at right now. And I've had my heart broken, you know, like the rest of us. Um, and I've, I've felt like I can't do this. I've felt like I don't matter. I've felt like maybe I should just give it all up and 
get a normal job that happened recently and and I was like oh something's really wrong here um so yes walk your path and say yes have faith and and remember that you are magic I don't know if I have anything else to say but I was just so excited and I really wanted to share and Part of part of my um, what was your peak of the day? Ooh, um, I was just going to say that part of my uh, the challenge that I've had is being really brave and courageous and putting my face out there in the world um, by design. I guess I'm meant to be a little um, reluctant in that, but it's time for me to be seen. So thank you to those of you who are watching. <laughs> Live, you can't take it back. <laughs> so Samantha is asking, what was the peak of my day? I I think I would have to say that the peak of my day was um, the entire day. <laughs> uh, really, what what <clears throat> brings me the most amount of joy is those moments where I step back and I I witness what's happening and I witness. <sighs> mm the deep, powerful connections within self and, and when people meet really truly in, their, in the core of who they are. And they're really, they're seeing one another because they're remembering who they are. And they're feeling that, uh, it, it might even be indefinable, but they're feeling the truth. And, and that, that glimmer of there's something more, there's so much more. And the message of, um, we all use different wording. I like to say infinite potential that, that we're, we are, um, limitless and <laughs> hi, Alex. Thank you. Yeah, I just, it, it's my, my wish, my hope for all of us here that, that we will move beyond the, the struggle and the suffering and the I can't and, and uh, the thoughts, the, the, the distortions and illusions of I'm not worthy and that we, we step into that knowing that we are creating this with, I guess, maybe you could call it a divine force. Uh, that is not separate from us, but that is listening all the time, all the time. That, <laughs> thank you, Samantha. Um, and it is absolutely radiating from within. And that was one of the things that Shakuntali speaks of is that that the, you can change everything about your physical body. You can you can get a nose job, and you can get a facelift, and you can change your hair color, and you know get buff at the gym, and do all these things. But the one thing that you cannot ever change from outside is that, that shine in your eyes that comes from, from living from here. And, and a lot of that ability to do that has to do with knowing and living your purpose and walking your path. And, and if that's being an amazing mom and a, and a loving wife and, um, playing with your children and, and loving your husband, Samantha, every day. Maybe you have a, a, a career that you're balancing with all of that. I don't know, but I was a stay-at-home mom for 12 years, and I felt lost in that because I stopped writing. I stopped creating, and I stopped shining. And uh, I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> I'm really glad to be back. So hi, Blake. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for me? Because I, it's often weird for me to just talk without having a dialogue. So if somebody asked me a question, that would be really helpful. I don't know how long I want to stay on here. It's been a long day, but Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Type a question for me. No, no one. <laughs> oh, Eric's here too. Hi, you're... 
You're watching from all the way over across the world. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for somebody to ask a question. Oh, there's Sheldon. Hi, Sheldon. Sheldon will ask me a question. Ask me a question, Sheldon, because I've just been talking and it feels like a, you know, self. Hi. <laughs> it was like a monologue. Can you ask me a question, Sheldon? Oh, there we go, Sam. Thank you. Do I have a workshop planned? Oh, yeah, sure. What do you want to learn? <laughs> um, so I'd like to know what you'd like to learn, Samantha, because I can teach a lot of different things. But um, I do teach the Navajo Feather Way, and I am planning on doing another one of those soon. But now that the space is complete and we have this beautiful outdoor space that apparently stays warm on cold winter days because we're magical here. <laughs> it was amazing because the wind started blowing as we were doing all this stuff and it was like, oh, and we're standing there going, ah, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, it, it, I will be doing workshops and I, I don't, it, it's kind of like, ask me, just ask me about stuff that you want to learn. And because I've been training and learning and, and gathering skill sets and tools for, for five years now in this lifetime. But uh, of course, in other lifetimes, I've, I've done a lot of different things, including you know being a, a medicine woman and, and all kinds of really fun things. Um, so there's, there is an accumulation in, in my um, genetic code, in my uh, DNA, my memory of, of things that I've learned in other lifetimes that have kind of carried through and there, there's these activation points that are happening here with people that I'm meeting and I'm now like after meeting Sheldon apparently now I can speak star language like which is super weird to most people and, and you sound like a crazy person but Sheldon and I can have entire conversations in in star language that we somehow understand because we're understanding it here um so hang on cuz oh hi there's Sam there's all these people so People, are you excited? Because it's my first ever live video. So Sheldon's asking, what is your opinion on interacting positively with technology? Oh, that, oh, no. Well, okay, so you asked that, and then I just did something weird with my computer, and my screen just went like this, and I can't see it anymore. Hang on. Let me, let me interact positively with my technology. Oh, I'll just blame Mercury for it. Um... I'm not really sure. I, I feel like I would need more information in that question to understand how to how to intelligently answer that, honestly. Um, as far as my interacting with technology, I probably overdo it a little bit. But I, I think that if we use it very consciously and when we use it to help connect in a way that is actually useful and powerful and productive, it can be a really incredible tool. I use it to network. And, and, and I mean, we're, we're, we're working with spirit all the time. Technology is also spirit, you know, and it, it's, a, it's a huge gift because I've got people here all over the country that are, that are actually watching my video. It's weird. I'm, yeah. And, and I have um, at least one person here from all the way across the world who's watching. And, and you know, I wasn't born into technology like this. So this is, this is huge for me that, that I can actually do things like this. And it is a little intimidating. So uh, I don't know if that answers. Okay, so like phones, computers, video games. I don't know if that answers your question, Sheldon, but I think that was a good something. <laughs> uh, what is star language? Oh, what is star language? That's a really good question. Um, and yes, I do past life regression work. So I'm a certified shamanic practitioner. I do um, hold space and, and um, guide people into regression. It often, because of the way that I work, uh, Christopher or Chris, I'm not sure what you go by, but um, because of the way that I work, often when I go into a past life regression, it, it's like, because I work intuitively and in flow, it is an agreement that we have to co-facilitate with spirit as to what is meant to show up for you because we've connected to do that work. 
um, what is meant to show up for you for you for your highest and greatest good at that time so sometimes what will happen is somebody comes to me and they ask can we do a past life regression I'm like sure let's see what shows up so we go into it thinking we're doing a past life regression and we end up doing a whole lot more than that um, and Jason Hilton if he was on here could could testify to that I don't think he's on here but um, he came in for a past life regression and he ended up having a full on in front of my eyes what we what we call an awakening and it was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had as a human being but especially as a practitioner to be able to, to um, do the detective work necessary to lead and guide that beautiful human being that's sitting in front of me into that space of of remembering what home is and uh and and remembering their connection to the all that is and and that we are we are that one we are everything so that was huge that was a very offside answer to your question but <laughs> sheldon's laughing at me so what is star language you know what you guys can reach out to sheldon for that because he knows more about that but it's basically just what it sounds like uh language from other beings which is also us so alex wants to know oh she's saying i'm so happy for you where oh where do i plan to be in a year from now i have no plans <laughs> um i feel that that the space that i've created here will be on the map <laughs> um which, which is beautiful but also kind of oh crap at the same time because it is my home you know and and uh, I'm a very private person which might surprise some of you but in a lot of ways I am and I've learned to be less private because in my sharing it has actually um, helped other people um, because of what I've learned you know I'm just sharing what I've learned and uh, and I love to write and Facebook has been an incredible accountability tool for me to actually keep me writing because when I write in a journal, it's just kind of like, eh, it fizzles. Um, but being able to share here and actually having beautiful people who, who interact with that keeps me going. So thank you to all of you who do that. In a year, I hope to have Sparkle Paws published and on bookshelves in major bookstores all over the world with, you know, and then in, in homes with these sweet children holding actual books that have paper and drawings and because um, that's important to me I, I i do really appreciate technology but i don't want us to ever lose um our connection to the, to the tactile experience of actually holding a book in our hands and flipping the pages and pointing to the words and i read to my children when they were little and i know that the the connection that that it happens when when parents sit any time of the day but bedtime is really special after they've had their bath and they smell all yummy and their skin's all soft and, and you snuggle up and and you sit with your babies and you read them a book and uh, <laughs> so those of you who've never met me Um, so I see that, and that, uh, and Sparkle Paws is a really sweet story. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that to happen. So Alex, in answer to your question, uh, that will be hopefully a part of my experience a year from now, and and I, I feel that that will include um, some travels and uh, probably book signings in bookstores, and maybe Sparkle Paws, aka Bodhisattva, will be. Uh, mm, well behaved enough to accompany me on those journeys <laughs> we'll see um, and, and I hope that my practice is flourishing and I do count on all of you to to get the word out that I'm here I have incense going and it's going right in my nose I do count on all of you to get the word out that I'm here and I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm here to help and support and 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 offer whatever it is that I'm meant to offer in that um, co-facilitation that we engage in when you sit with me 
or, or any number of you sit with me and, and spirit, you know, your higher self, your all knowing self, whatever, uh, comes through and, and, um, and even just practical things I do in my practice, a lot of, uh, I do a lot of um, cognitive restructuring. I do have a background in psychology, but um, it's more about just my my fascination with uh, human behavior and how we tick and and what what is helpful and useful for us in order to to operate in in a more empowered way. So, languaging is I'm a, I'm like a language geek. You know, I love words and and I understand the power of language. It's, it's absolutely, um, it's magic. And we have to remember to be very mindful about the magic that we're creating. A tip for live videos. Make sure you press the post button at the end. Oh, <laughs> cool. Thank you. I wouldn't have known that. I've never done it. Um, so remember the power of your language and the words that you choose. And when I have people, I'm like going off on a tangent, but I'm guessing people are still watching and joining. So I guess you're enjoying it. <laughs> um, but we're, we're very often um, very unconscious about the language that we're using and the thoughts that we're, that we're framing our experience with. And when we're reminded by someone who is, you know, a helper <laughs> like me, um, to be more mindful about the language that we're choosing and the thoughts we're having about our experience, we are able to see where the patterns and programs are that are actually not only not only create or yeah not only creating dysfunction and and pathology, including you know in our in our physical body, but we're also having like messed up experiences that are like why does this keep happening to me? It's because we have core programs that that are emitting out frequencies. That like if somebody says, I'm a mess, oh my God, I'm such a mess. We say shit like that all the time, very unconsciously. And we don't think about what we're, what we're co-creating when we're saying a mess. Like, what do you think my life is going to look like if I'm constantly like making the statement that I'm a mess? It's going to be sloppy. To say the least, I'm being really good with my language. I swear a lot more than this normally. So I'm being very well behaved. It's strange. Who is this person? So as Sam's saying, we love books. And oh, and Sheldon wants y'all to know, in a nutshell, star languages are languages in communication that our stars, our star ancestors spoke. But we're also speaking it here. So at all you hi okay so sheldon's got more information so you can read his stuff good night samantha okay mm. does anybody else have a question sam are you on here still not samantha but sam mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's sky hi sky mm. okay so i'm waiting Does anybody have a question and you just want to watch me be like really dorky right now? <laughs> no? Okay. So, Christopher, are you still on here? And your question about past life regression? New comment. Here we go. Oh, good night. Okay. So, What's my favorite color? Gas. <laughs> Good night, Sky. I love you. Mm. So I don't, I don't want to draw this out into a space of it being non-productive because I do like to be productive with my time and I do like to offer things that are helpful. And uh, it might be the point at which, yeah, we're almost at 30 minutes, so that's perfect. Um, thank you, everyone. We're joining my first ever, at least in this, in this uh, body here, uh, live Facebook video. It's it's been a long time coming. So, um, let me know uh, in private message or whatever. Violet, uh, uh no. <laughs> nice try though. Nice guess. You know, you know what it is. It's black. I'm just kidding. Um, 
let me know in private messages what you would or post on here in the comments what you'd like to hear because um, it is I, I got the whole setup with the ring light and so I say like you know glowy uh, so that I can actually do videos for you guys <laughs> thank you um, with my and, and one of these days I'm gonna get these braces off my teeth again so I was gonna wait for that but no it's apparently I need to do this now oh thank you Christopher yeah, and, and ask me some questions, and, and I'll, I'll, um, I might start doing some morning videos because sometimes I don't have clients, and it would be really nice to be a little more productive with my time. So thank you, everyone, for joining, and I love you so much. And just remember that it's time now to step beyond the suffering and, and into what, what, our, what our true birthright is here is to be happy, to be happy and to play and remember our magic. and and start, start really steadfastly creating this, this heaven on earth that we are, we are. I love you all. Hopefully I can figure out how to end this. <laughs> sort of like this awkward, like, wait, hang on, I, I got this. Okay. okay, so you'll have questions ready next time. I love you all. Thank you. <laughs>